Hello and welcome to the Adnaco S1 instructional video. The Adnaco S1 PCI PCI Express expansion system allows system integrators to operate two PCI and two PCI Express add-in cards over fiber optic cable at distances of up to 250 meters from the location of the computer system. No additional host software drivers are required during installation or operation. Any type of PCI and PCI Express cards can be used including audio, video, graphics, USB, Firewire, SATA, data acquisition, network and other cards. So what's included in the system? The Adnaco H1 host controller that converts standard PCI Express bus to Adnaco PCI Express over fiber optic signal. Adnaco R1 BP1, an expansion backplane which extends again over fiber optic cable the I.O. card capabilities of a host computer at distances of up to 250 meters. The R1BP1 provides two PCI and two PCI Express slots suitable for standard PCI PCI Express devices. The two PCI Express slots by 8 and by 16 are wired as by 1. An onboard PCI Express to PCI bridge provides the connection for standard PCI devices in order to support legacy PCI devices. The installed PCI PCI Express devices operate transparently over the PCI Express extension. The R1BP1 can be mounted in a standard micro ITX case. It contains standard micro and minimum ATX holes right here on the back plane, here and here. Uh, also included in the system is a 50 meter or 160 feet FC1 50 fiber optic cable. That is again a part of the system. Note that for illustrational purposes in this particular video, I'm going to be using a much shorter uh, 10 meter or 30 yard version, sorry, 30 feet version of this cable. Uh, finally, SFP transceiver that is included uh, in all ADNACO systems. Now, for demo purposes, uh, we will need some additional equipment which is not included in the standard ADNACO package. Uh, you will need a standard PC right here um, with at least one standard PCI Express slot right here in our case, and some kind of operating system, for example, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc., uh, capable of supporting PCI Express bus. Uh, note that for the purposes of this video, we will be using Windows XP. Standard PC micro ATX or ATX power supply right here, also not included in the package. Several of the shelf USB host controllers. You know, they typically range in price between $15 to $30, also not included in the package. For the purposes of this video, we will be using two PCI Express high-speed USB host controllers and two PCI high-speed USB host controllers. On to the installation. Uh, uh, here comes the tricky part. You have to install all of these cards into the slots on the R1 BP1 back page easier. This is a bit so here is what we have as a result of this installation. Let me show it from all the angles. We have a back plane with four cards installed onto them. Host controllers installed onto them. Now uh, another important thing to rem um, remember that for demo purposes we we're using USB host controllers. However, in real life, you can install any kind of PCI or PCI Express cards, including graphic cards, SATA, storage controllers, InfiniBand, Ethernet, network cards, etc., etc. Basically, any PCI or PCI Express card would work. Uh, next step is to connect standard PC power supply to the R1BP1 backplane. Uh, note that our R1BP1 backplane has 24 pin standard power connector. That implies that you can use power supply with either 20 or 24 pin connection. In our case, we're using 20 pin connector. Another important thing to remember that four sockets at the front of the connector remain open. So again, this is where a little bit of agility is required. Notice that the red LED light right here came on. Now, next step, very important, make sure that both your PC and the PC power supply are turned off. So, it's off and PC is off. 
Next step is also a little bit tricky because you have to install H1 card into the computer here. Again, can be a little bit tricky, but with practice can be accomplished pretty easily. Remove black protector protective cap from the H1. Install one end of the cable into the H1 controller. Typically you should hear a click if this is done properly. The other end of the cable goes into the back plane. First remove the black protective cap and insert the cable right here. Again you should hear a click. Uh, another thing to remember that since both ends of the cable are identical, it does not make a difference which end is inserted where. Turn on the R1 BP1 power supply by pushing a small on off button next to the power connection socket, right here. Another thing to remember that if you would like to install backplane in your own custom case, you can connect the following auxiliary devices to it. Fans, uh, remote on off button, reset button, etc. Uh, you can accomplish that by using special connectors next to the power socket, right here. Since the uh, PC is still off, you can still see the red light uh, on the uh, R1 BP1 backplane. Now, let me turn on my PC. And while the PC is initializing, let's take a look at some of the changes that took place on both of the host controllers. As far as R1 BP1 goes, uh, first of all, notice that the red LED light is now off and is being replaced by the green LED light. Also, same kind of green light would come up on the H1 host controller, right under the SFP transceiver, the H1 host controller that has been already installed on your computer. These green lights indicate that R1 BP1 and H1 host controllers have been properly initialized and are ready to work. Also, depending on the number of cards inserted into the R1 BP1, the corresponding number of green lights should come on on the panel. First LED over here corresponds to the first slot by 16, second LED light to the next slot by 8, third LED right here corresponds to the both PCI cards and should always be one. Now let me log on to the computer. And let me insert one of the USB flash drives with a sample movie file on them into the, let's say, PCI Express slot. Now, if I choose to navigate to the folder, take some time, and uh, I can locate the video file that I was looking for, double click on it, and it should start playing, like so. While the video is playing, several key points to reiterate. The R1 BP1 host controller can be located as far as 300 meters or 1000 feet away from the host PC. Your computer sees all of the cards installed, in this case four, installed on this R1 BP1 host controller, as if they were internal PC cards installed inside of your PC. This is accomplished without any kind of special software other than normal operating software already installed on your computer. Uh, so this has been a video of how to install your Adnaco S1 system. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.